Hello everyone, my name is Sol and welcome to X-Plane 11. Today we are going to be looking at ALES version 2, which is a scenery enhancement package for X-Plane 11. Now, what does ALES stand for? Well, it stands for Airport Layout Enhancement Solution. So this um, enhancement package is specifically focusing on the airport layout, which we will see shortly. This review is going to be looking at uh, the textures, how they compare to real life based off of pictures that I have compared it to, the ease of installation, and then my general thoughts uh, about the texture work and all of that. And at the end of this review, uh, I am going to be giving the product a score out of 10. 10 being the best and zero being the worst, but I can already tell you this does not get a zero. So we are on the ground at Kennedy right now where we're going to be showing off the textures first. But before we do that, we are going to look at the installation process, which is quite simple and straightforward. So without further ado, let's get on to the first look and review. So when you first launch into ALES uh, version 2 into the folder, the zip file that you download, uh, you're going to see skids, runways, lib, a previews, a manual, and a EULA. We're going to be looking at the manual and the previews in this video because uh, we don't really need to look at the EULA. But an additional thing that's going to be added to this as well, which I do not have a copy of since this is a pre-release version um, and some bugs are still being stamped out, is the installation. Um, .exe file, which will also come with this, and that makes the installation really easy. We're going to be looking at the manual way to install, and then I'll quickly show you ALES version 1.4, which has the installer in there, which looks and functions nearly identically to ALES version 2. So let's hop into the manual, and I'll show you how to install everything. Right here we have the manual, uh, which has four pages and everything is really, really neatly put together. Great job on ALES for that. So if you want to know what it's all about, uh, besides everything that I have described here, you can read this, um, which gives you a quick description as to what ALES is about and what uh, version 2 brings to the table. Then there's some technical information here and in the change log, which since this is the first version, there is no change log besides the complete overhaul from version 1.4. And then there's the installation uh, procedure, which is right here. And it describes everything that you need to do. Um, and it tells you exactly where to put everything. Uh, and it is very, very helpful and makes manual installation really easy if that's the way that you decide to go instead of just using the installer. If you're going to be installing it manually though, you're going to need to look at previews uh, because there are available textures, there are multiple, um, as you can see here, there's a few pages worth that you can choose from to choose how you want your runways to look and how you want your skids to look. All of these options are in the folders that are provided in ALES version 2 in the zip file. Um, and if you're going to be installing them manually, then you want to know which one you are choosing. So, uh, for example, if you go to skids, there's 4321, which is... Uh, a list of all the available skids and they are conveniently numbered right here. I am using skids 3 for this video in case you end up downloading ALES and you want to have the same results that I have. I'm also going to be using the American New and the New Lines as well. So that's pretty much all that is there for the installation. It's very easy. Uh, once you decide the things that you want, you just drag all the folders that are here into your root explain folder and everything will go where it needs to go and it will be all nice. So let's say that you want to install with the installer instead of manually. So I have the version 1.4 installer right here loaded up and I'm not going to close X-Plane because uh, I'm not actually going to be installing anything right now since we're only looking at version 2. But this is just a basic idea of what the installer will look like once it, uh, the final package is released and you're able to pick it up in the stores. Um, so you need to choose your X-Plane EXE. So that's pretty easy for me. I have it pinned here. You pick that. Then you press next, um, and then you can choose between 2K or 4K textures. Uh, and then there are options right here. And 
the there are images to correspond with it too so that you can see uh, what your scenery will look like with these options. So it shows you all the previews just like that document that I showed you earlier, uh, but it has it in the installer so then you don't need to move out of the installer in order to check, which is very nice and very convenient. Now that we have the installation out of the way, it's time to look at some of the textures. So this changes the asphalt and concrete of your airport, the lines at the airport, and the runways and skid marks. Um, so we're going to be looking at all of those right here today. So uh, first off, let's look at the asphalt. Um, now I really like the asphalt. Uh, I think that the lines are done really well and it looks really nice as you keep on zooming into it, like we're fairly zoomed in um, and it's still really crisp. And most other airport enhancement packs don't really have this level of detail at this level, I've noticed. I compared it to a few other competitors um, in the making of this video uh, and there's definitely a difference. So I really, really like that about it. I also really like these lines here. They're really well done and they don't get grainy, which I tend to notice lines in concrete or asphalt have uh, that characteristic um, from at least the competitors where they start to get grainy. I don't know if this is intentional or not where there are some little markings here in between. I think it's an interesting choice because it does definitely add some texture to it, but I'm not sure how well that uh, compares to real life when I've looked at other pictures. These are usually just pretty solid lines um, and there aren't really any rocks or anything right here. So I guess that's just an artist's choice. Next thing we can look at is the concrete, which we can look over here for at gate 46. Um, the concrete is also really well done um, as well. Concrete is particularly hard to do and I've noticed that a lot of people have struggled to do it because it doesn't really have that much depth like asphalt does, um, where you know you have all these little rocks here. Concrete is kind of just plain. Um, and with that said, ALES has done a good job showing like the different characteristics of concrete um, and showing some of the pieces of concrete that you wouldn't necessarily notice um, instead of it just being white. They have some really nice browns here, which you might be able to see, I can see it on my larger screen, so you may need to be watching this video on a larger screen in order to see it. But there's some nice browns here, um, and then there's also some really nice dots here and there that really give the concrete a nice texture. The one thing I will say though is that when you zoom in quite far, it does become rather grainy. However, I am not necessarily experienced enough in texture work to tell you whether that is an x-plane fault um, or whether it is something that the uh, developer did however you also have to keep in mind that you're not going to be this zoomed in the when you're flying your aircraft that's just not realistic you're going to be like right here and right here it looks amazing um, so unless you're in some sort of really really micro plane that doesn't exist uh, you're not going to see any issues Something I love about the concrete textures is these lines. They are so crisp and well done and they have depth and it looks so good. Comparing these to other images, uh, I, I was just like blown away. Really, really great job with that. Um, even right here, this just looks so crisp and clean and I have to give major, major props to the developer for doing such a great job with that. Here's another example of, I believe this is asphalt, just more worn down asphalt um, or concrete, you know, either, either or it could be pretty rough concrete. This looks really, really good and also zooms in really well. And the shadows that um, ALES adds feels really lively um, and it doesn't feel flat. It adds some really nice texture um, to the whole ground and I, I really, really enjoy it. Really great job and really great clarity and everything works really, really nicely here. Now onto the lines, which I really love. So these are the lines and uh, they have PBR and when you look at them, uh, they're really, really crisp and you can almost like feel the paint strokes on it. Uh, it this, it's, it's not perfect, which is what I love about it. I've seen lots of other enhancement solutions that make it so that these lines are really, really straight and there's no errors in them, but that's just not the way it is in real life. And I can confirm that um, from being on the ramp uh, whenever I fly, but also looking at reference photos as well. Uh, the fact that this doesn't have any of 
that really straightness and shows imperfections is amazing and is a really, really great attention to detail that I wish other people would do more. Now moving on to the runways. The runways are done really well. Um, we're only going to be looking at concrete here, but we're going to switch over to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to finish off the video. And I'll show you what an asphalt runway looks like and also show you that this works on not just John F. Kennedy, but it also works at smaller airports. Uh, I really love the way that the white paint is done here because a lot of people get this wrong whenever they make runways. They make the numbers and uh, the piano keys really, really stand out and they make it just really bright and kind of obnoxious. When in actuality, these paints that are on the runways aren't really that noticeable. It's more like just black outlines of numbers and stuff. Um, and ALES has done a fantastic job with that. Like there's just a very, very slight difference uh, and I really like that. And everything, all these textures are also really crisp as well. I was talking about concrete being hard to do uh, because sometimes it's a little plain and you definitely do not see that here. Uh, this concrete has a lot of depth to it, which is really nice. And I also love the lines here. You know, they're not too predictable and that makes it look a lot more like a realistic runway because realistic runways aren't too predictable. You know, you're gonna have a crack here um, or you know, something else over there. Uh, and ALES has a really great job with that. The same can be said for the skid marks. The skid marks are great. Uh, sometimes I've noticed other developers tend to make the skid marks drain out the whites that are in the middle um, and, and just dra drain out the whites in general. But ALES doesn't do that. And I have to give them a lot of credit for that uh, because looking at reference photos from real life at what skid marks usually look like, the whites in the middle are never fully out, even on the runways that have more skid marks than others. Um, and ALES has done a really great job with that. I also love the fact that the skid marks are not like too predictable. You know, they, they go out here and they go out there. And then there's obviously a lot more in the center because that's where um, airplanes land more. But by and large, everything looks really natural uh, because it's not just a block of blackness that's on the runway. It's just a bunch of random blobs that are here and there. Uh, and that really, really matches nicely with real life. So now to get to the part of the package that I absolutely love, and that is the wet textures. So I have put stormy conditions on at John F. Kennedy in order to show you this. One thing to note is that in order for these textures to show up, you need to have your scenery reloaded if it starts to rain where you're at, or you need to have your scenery start to load when the conditions are set to wet for runways um, and asphalt. So after loading up stormy conditions, I just had to reload my scenery. And that's not anything that the developer can control, so I'm not gonna be taking any points off for that. That's just how X-Plane works. But the wet textures look absolutely beautiful. The way that the water just goes into the asphalt here is fantastic and really, really well done and really brings life to X-Plane in the rain, which is something that X-Plane really does lack. And this is a very welcome feature for that. You can also see it on the concrete as well, which is also very, very well done. Concrete doesn't tend to soap up the water as much as asphalt. And ALES has done a great job with that as well, and, and knowing that too. Uh, if you, you see right here, the water just collects on the surface of the concrete, and that follows every single photo that I have seen as well. And another great thing too is the water that gathers in between these cracks as well, uh, which is something I hadn't even thought of and hadn't even noticed um, until I was really looking at this in depth. And this is a really, really great attention to detail. Full props to ALES for doing a great job on the wet textures. So now to finish off the video, I'm in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, just to show you uh, that these textures do work no matter what airport you are at if you set it up properly uh, so you can see the concrete textures over there and the asphalt textures here and then this is an example of the asphalt runway as well same comments uh, that i made about the concrete runway the lines are done really well and the skid marking on the white lines in the middle is also done really well and it, it drains it out just perfectly but not completely uh, which I really like and the weathering is also done really well you know these whites aren't too stand outy uh, which I really really enjoy about it so this leads me to my final thoughts on the package I really like it I think that ALES has done a 
great job with these textures uh, and they work really well and they're really clean uh, and they have a nice depth to them and they definitely add to the enhancement of airports and x-plane however i will say that i did have an issue uh, with this when i first installed it and that's partly due to me not being as attentive but this might also be an issue that you run into yourself so it's worth the mention I had a, a few other enhancement packages installed as well before ALES, and they were overwriting ALES. Um, so I almost released a review where I was just looking at uh, another package. Um, and because of that, because of the layering that you have to do, sometimes it can be a bit tedious, and I wish it weren't. Um, but at the same time, you have to keep in mind that that is the way the X-Plane's file structure works and that everything is very specific. And also that that was my fault technically and the developer uh, tells you how to do things as well. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when you're installing this. Um, it would have been nice to have a note that said, if you have any enhancement packages installed, you should probably uninstall them. Um, but I also want to note that this is a pre-release, so anything I say could be changed by the time of release in this first look in review. So overall, I'd say that this plugin deserves a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the 0.5 coming from the thing that I just mentioned, Thank you guys so much for watching this first look and review. If you have any questions, please be sure uh, to write us a comment. I read as many comments as I can, and I try to respond to them whenever you have them. Uh, so I will make sure to continue to do that for this video as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, and please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.